Hi everyone, welcome. So we're gonna look at what's going on in your connection currently. This is for all signs. This is for my collective viewers. So don't worry about your sign. This is just if you're drawn to this read. We're gonna see what's currently going on in this relationship, especially if you're confused. So let's see what is going on here. What is going on in this connection for my collective viewers who need to know? Let's see. Oh my God. The devil. <laughs> Why are you here? Okay, we got the devil and strength. We got Capricorn and Leo energy, first of all. This could mean that they are a Capricorn or a Leo. For some of you but this devil though this person they could mm, it's either they're obsessed with you and they're trying to tame themselves or they have some toxic behaviors that they're trying to keep under control it's one or the other but this person is trying to tame their inner beast they feel strongly towards you they're trying to tame something we'll see how it goes <laughs> i'm seeing some of you could be aries or dealing with the aries <clears throat> You are very much in control. You got your self-love going. Um, I see that you're not really rejecting this person or no longer pushing them away. You found a way to like really guard your heart. So this could be for some of you, someone that you're giving another chance or you're open to hear their apology, but you're very like standing firm in your own energy, protecting yourself, staying in control of your emotions. The mutual energy here, some of you, this is a fake connection. Like, there's a lot of passion involved. There is high energy. You could be a fire sign couple for some of you, or your person is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you are, but it's a lot of fire. A lot of fire signs. Fire energy, I should say. This is what's going on here is supposed to happen. Either you're supposed to be together, or this is supposed to teach you something. We have the Queen of Wands. This person's um, near future actions, they may take action. However, the fool in reverse is like the opposite of that. So they're kind of hesitant. They want to take action, but they're hesitant. I don't know what it is. Maybe they're afraid of something. Again, with the fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Near future energy. Some of you are... You probably, I mean, I'm hearing about the retrograde here. So there could be an issue with communication with this person that you're dealing with. There's something, there's something with this moon and this devil, okay? I don't know if like they're trying to hide their beast, trying to hide their toxic behaviors or trying to, you know, or maybe they used to be toxic or they're trying to heal from toxicity, but it's, they haven't really healed and they're just trying to keep it under wraps. We will see, but this is Pisces energy and we have Gemini energy and Aquarius. What is going on in this connection? Spiritual awakening. This, this feels kind of comic for some of you. We have divine timing. Toxic relationship. Relationship. Some of you are learning the difference between toxic relationship and a healthy relationship. Um, and I know some, some of you are like, I already know the difference, but sometimes there's things that are hidden that, that you still need to learn spiritually. I've been through it in the past where I thought I knew, but I didn't and I learned. So, um, it could be that either this is a toxic relationship mm -hmm. or you have, I'm sorry, there's noise upstairs. It's either this is a toxic relationship or the toxic relationship happened in the past and now you're in a more healthy one. But I doubt that for a lot of you because of this devil card here. So let's see what else comes up. Union. Something to do with marriage or you're about to commit. Well, this is a marriage for some of you. We have karmic lesson. You see what I mean? It's something to do with something you're supposed to learn here. 
Remember the question is what's going on in this connection, karma, dreaming of you. So this is someone you've been having dreams about or they're dreaming about you. This is a this is something to do with a lesson. I hate that type of reading, you know, we got divine energy. This is something that the angels are surrounding, divine timing, divine energy, spiritual awakening. This has to do with your spirituality and your growth or the relationship that you were, that you was in, that you were in before. Whatever toxic relationship, if it's this one or if it's a past one, it's supposed to be a lesson. You see that with judgment as well. But let me look at the relationship, the main spread. What is going on in this connection for my collective viewer? Give me accurate messages for my collective viewer on what exactly is going on here. What's the deal? What's going on in this connection? Okay. This is a karmic person. This is someone that you guys are tied to. Some of you are wondering why am I so tied to this person? Why can't I let them go? It's a karmic situation. You're supposed to learn from it. It's supposed to trigger something from your childhood that needs to be healed. Oh, I hate these ones. These are the worst relationship. The tower and the death card. This is very specific and it does resonate whether you like it or not. I'm telling you. If you're in a relationship and you're confused and you don't know why you can't let this person go, this reading is for you. I'm about to lay it on you. You got the tower and you got the death card. Death card is your outcome. So this is good because this means that this whole thing is going to transform you. You're going to be a whole new person. For those of you who have already went through this, you're, you're becoming a whole new person already. You probably already see this. Some of you are grateful for the lesson. You're going to be grateful for the lesson. Um, even though it's painful, you can look back on old lessons from your past and see how you benefited from them. And then you can look at this the same way. Like you're going to benefit from this greatly. For example, even this, my channel that you're watching right now, like I made this channel when I was going through a toxic, not toxic, yeah, toxic, but comic situation where I had to learn. And I was so hurt that I was like, I need to do something. This was like, what, three, four years ago, four years ago. I was like, I have to do something. You know, and I just made this channel. I didn't think it would go anywhere. I just, just needed something to do. And here we are. So I'm telling you, the transformation, it may lead you to your purpose, your life purpose, something you're supposed to do. You know, something that will be great for you. But anyways, let me get back to the read. Um, this person, they feel like you've they feel like you've realized their toxicity. Remember, I said that they're trying to tame that beast. And people who are toxic and have these issues, you know, they also have childhood issues. You both attract each other because you have these childhood issues. One person may be the person who causes the most pain, but both are dealing with childhood issues. You may have attracted this person because you like to heal people, fix people, because you maybe had to take care of everyone in your family as a child. You are, the universe wants you to stop that. They want you to take care of yourself. You guys want you to take care of yourself now or else you're going to keep attracting these people who need your help and drain you. So that's the lesson for some of you. But this person does have a lot of feelings for you, but they are toxic. They're triggering your, your childhood issues. Um, they want to reconcile with you if you are in separation. But this person has a sense that, that, there's, that you're starting to see the truth about them. Five of Pentacles in reverse. They want to come out the cold. You can't stop thinking about this person. You're seeing them as a Ten of Cups in reverse. So this is someone that you know that they're not fulfilling you emotionally. They may leave you right when you need them. They leave you. They're not there for you emotionally. This could be because your parents were not there for you emotionally as a child. This is not for every single person. It's something in your childhood, but it's, it doesn't have to be that. It could be though, because you're seeing them as not fulfilling you emotionally. You want someone who's going to take care of you um, emotionally when you're sad and be there for you. Maybe your parents were not there for you in those times. A lot of us deal with that. 
and that's the way you attract these people who are not there for you um, emotionally. Just look at how your parents treated you in, as a child. And you may have a lot of denial about that too. I know I did when I was trying to figure out where my pain came from. Because we tend to make excuses for our parents. We're like, oh, they did the best they could and blah, blah, blah. If you really look at when you were crying as a child, when you wanted stuff, when you needed stuff, and they kind of just shrugged it off, you kind of have to admit that your emotions were not, your emotional needs were not met. And that's why your emotional needs are not being met in your relationships, in this relationship. So this is the lesson for a lot of you. But anyways, I'm sorry about all the noise upstairs. I don't know what they're moving around, but you are definitely moving on. Despite the fact that you are kind of hooked on this, you keep thinking about this, it's, it's triggering your childhood. The Six of Cups in reverse is triggering, I'm telling you, your childhood. But you are moving on from it despite how you feel. Like you feel like you can't move on, but you actually are. You just, it's like your subconscious mind is just coming to terms with everything. And you, you're moving on. Like, don't feel bad if you keep thinking about it. You're supposed to think about it and work through it, not to ignore it and try to bury it. That's just going to be worse. So just appreciate the fact that it keeps coming to mind so it can work itself through and be gone. Okay. But this is your tower moment. You know, some of you could have recently been ghosted. If you have abandonment issues from your childhood, that's why you keep getting ghosted, abandoned, and you're needing to heal that wound so it can stop happening. Um, why are the lovers? Why is this person feeling the lovers? This person has their moments where they realize that they have feelings for you, but they're toxic. Like I said earlier, them trying to tame that beast. It's like they, they, they genuinely feel for you. But every time they get close to you, their, their attachment style comes out. You, you might want to look that up. Attachment style. Some of you already know about it. It's when you're not when you're not attached to someone, you know, you're ready to jump in head first and be in a relationship, you're attracted to them. But then when you get attached, your attachment style comes out, you start to get nervous, afraid. That's where you have some people who ghost because they may have an avoidant attachment style where they want you, they get close to you, but then it starts to look scary like their childhood and then they just disappear because it's too scary, it's too painful. Is there so much noise upstairs? Plus there's thunder rolling. Oh my gosh, this is a lot. So yeah, they this person may like, every time they come towards you is because they genuinely want you, but then they are faced with the feelings, the uncomfortable feelings from their childhood where they're afraid to lose somebody, they're afraid to be rejected and they just run. And that's their spiritual um, lesson. And you are needing to um, recognize that as well. Why the Six of Cups in reverse? Sorry, that is that little boy upstairs. He just friggin' runs back and forth like, oh my gosh. Anyways. A lot of you, you're definitely getting ready to take action. There's a light bulb where you're starting to realize, or you're going to realize hopefully after this as well, that this is looking just like your childhood. You did go through this as a child and you are attracting this type of situation. It's like there's a great relationship waiting for you at the end of the healing journey after this lesson. But you have to get through it. You have to get through it. Why the Ten of Cups in reverse? Yeah, you see that? This is a clear message. The emotional disappointment. So here you got the King of Cups. They show up with the cup and then they walk away. It's just on and off, over and over again. It's repeating. It's the past repeating itself. You come back with the cup, then they leave. They have feelings for you, but they walk away because they're afraid. You're both triggering each other. This is a karmic connection. Both of you need to heal. Some of you already already started your healing process. 
Um, and you're like, oh my God, I, but I already healed. Well, there's, there's a lot of work that goes into healing. A lot of the times it's a daily practice, definitely. Also, what would really help you is something that helped me. This video, I think it was T. Jakes' daughter. She was talking about how, you know, it's basically like when you, you break, break a glass, you can't really fix it to, way, to the way it was without having all the cracks in it. There was a story about a man putting the glass back together with gold, like pasting it together with gold. And so it, it's, it's not the glass it used to be, but it's now this new reinvented type of fancy, unique glass, <laughs> you know, this unique bowl. So you can look at healing like that. I'm sorry, it got so loud and I'm trying to wait for this boy to stop running around upstairs, but I'm just gonna keep going. So yeah, I was talking about the glass, the broken glass, how it's never gonna be the same, but it can be a unique creation of your own. I'm also being shown like Michael Jackson, how he went through all that abuse as a child, but he's like the most amazing person in the world to me. <laughs> like he, there's, there's just no, there will never be another Michael Jackson, you know what I mean? And he went through a lot and he did the best he could with what he had, you know? He was, traumatized but he made amazing music and he was just amazing so that's what i mean like don't don't like pressure yourself to be a hundred percent perfect and healed but just see yourself as a beautiful work of art what can you do with the pieces you have left you know so i'm sorry about this boy upstairs oh my gosh well sometimes the mic doesn't pick up the outside noise so hopefully you guys can't hear it but yeah so the focus is not really this person this relationship the focus is you and what you went through in your childhood and the pieces you have to work with and what can you do with that also um, another thing that helped me was realizing that it's just an addiction like a toxic relationship is just an addiction I've spoke about this before how a person how it's just it's like being addicted to a substance like you just want that because it gives you this moment of happiness like this boy is ridiculous wow he'll get tired eventually and stop running around but yeah you you um it's just an addiction so just like how a person has to get clean from a substance you kind of have to get clean from and a, a toxic addictive relationship because your your mind thinks that this is your parent it, they your mind thinks that you're going to get that emotional fulfillment from this person the way the same way you thought you were going to get it from your parents this is why you have to give it to yourself at this point um and also what really helped me too was somebody said um person who's addicted to a substance they don't love that substance like that's what they mean when they say you think you're in love because a person doesn't love a person who's addicted to something doesn't love that substance in fact they see it as something that they hate because it's bad for them but they can't let it go so that's just what it is and it's because your mind um is still looking for that love that emotional fulfillment and so the work here is to give it to yourself is to see what you can do with your pieces, your broken pieces, putting them together, making beautiful art out of it. You know, it's just, it's, it's a lot of work, but it can, you can use it as like a creative project. What can you make of yourself? Because keep in mind, Michael Jackson was the bomb, okay? <laughs> so yes, there is hope for you. Okay, the moon in reverse. Why is this person seeing my collective viewers? The moon in reverse. They see that you've taken a pause here. They, they, this person's kind of picking up on what you're going, what's going on with you. They feel like you see the truth about them. This, this could scare them. Maybe you have, maybe you called them out and they were like, oh my gosh. They feel unmasked and they ran. They feel like you've uncovered something about them, something they tried to hide or tame. 
was blocking ten of pentacles why is the ten of pentacles blocking some of you have um some of you have your guide well i think all of you have your guides involved but some of you have some strong guides or strong ancestors that will not let you um, go through life without healing will not you let you endure more than you can take in a relationship won't let anyone um this happened to me because i if i end up with someone who could be toxic i start getting warning dreams from my ancestors so your ancestors you guys are not letting um they're only letting you they're only allowing you to feel a certain amount of pain or to go through a certain amount of stuff so that you can because they want you to heal they're not going to allow this to destroy you so they could be blocking this person sometimes from getting too close to you or causing too much damage but they also want you to heal you will be getting over this with the five of cups in reverse you are getting over this you think you're stuck on it you're getting over it slowly by the three of cups this person wants to reconcile and work on things but they don't realize that they're just going to get triggered again see judgment fate karma they they don't realize that they're just going to get triggered again and leave you again and you might not realize that if you go ahead and forgive them it's like neither of you the reason why toxic relationships are always on and off is because neither person unless it's a narcissist usually narcissists know exactly what they're doing but let's say you just got two broken people who are not exactly narcissists there's not exactly a narcissist involved but both people are broken and so there's toxicity when there's separation you both feel like you miss each other and you both want to go back to each other because you both addicted to this is the toxic relationship it's addictive and then you both get triggered and separate. That's why an on and off relationship is so common these days. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. You're, you're healing. That's why eventually there's going to be not enough attraction. Because remember what attracted you to a toxic person is the damage. So when you start to heal that damage, there won't be any more attraction. Some of you are already at that point where you already started healing. There's no more like attraction to this person. It's starting to fade because you're on a different energy. You get into a different energy. We have very soon clearly decide what you want. So it comes to you now. So your, your signal, your energy may be still kind of halfway on the toxic person and halfway healed. So... You're kind of giving the universe mixed signals on what relationship to send you, what type of person to send you. Careful to not attract another toxic person. Try to focus on healing so your energy stays, um, like goes more towards attracting a healed person. Okay, so we have let your friends help you, ask for and accept support from others. And we have let let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally this goes back to when i was saying stop trying to heal perfectly and just allow yourself to do like create beautiful art with the broken pieces just allow it to flow naturally don't get frustrated if you feel like you're not one of those perfect people who have no childhood trauma which that rarely exists okay everyone has some kind of abandonment issues some extreme some some just moderate some just mild we have optimism triggered see every time you get close to each other you trigger each other and that's not going to change until somebody heals forgiveness and drama so that just goes to show forgiving each other only for more drama to happen only for more triggers to come up what's going on here in this connection freedom in reverse feeling stuck it's in reverse we have work some of you may be neglecting work some of you may be having, wanting to have more fun, no longer being a wallflower, no, no longer um, allowing yourself to stay home. Some of you may get out more. 
Um, you may need to focus on work as well. Some of you work may be suffering because of this relationship, but we have true love here. Pure love, honest connection. This this is like this could be you. Just remember that a toxic relationship is just your mind being drawn to something that reminds you of the childhood. Career in reverse. Something to do with work and career. These are in reverse. Some of you, if you lost your job, I'm getting that it's supposed to lead you to something better, a better income. Okay, death. Why is death here the outcome? Clarify the outcome. Page of swords. You're going to develop boundaries. A lot of you won't be leaping headfirst into relationships anymore. You definitely will be taking your time. Some of you are going to meet a lot of people. So that connects with let your friends help. You're going to be meeting either new friends or really connecting with friends more. Maybe you spent more time in relationships than with friends. You definitely have boundaries going forward is what i'm seeing this card is revealing the euphoria card which does connect with um that feeling you get that hit that you get when you know you hear from that person but underneath that is love so needing to know the difference like i said before between what is just an addiction and what is actually real love? What is true love? What is a real relationship? Versus what just reminds you of your parents. So this is what I'm seeing for you. For those of you who click this collective read. I hope you do heal. Trust me, it's a process. I just thought, I thought it was impossible. I almost gave up, cussed and screamed told people there's no such thing like it just doesn't work but i didn't give up and definitely attracting different people definitely see the truth in the toxic ones and letting them go friends included not even relationship toxic friends you'll start to see the truth you'll start to see that a lot of the people in your life not just your connection but your friends too like old friends you start to see that a lot of them are also just like your parents or however whatever childhood situation you were in and you'll probably want to get rid of them like i did <laughs> so it does work it does take time and it is very much worth it and it does make you very creative and it does tie into your life purpose so be grateful for the lesson and stay on the journey because it will feel like it's going nowhere but trust me it is so i hope this was helpful feel free to check out your signs and my other collective reads subscribe if you're new thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one